is in this here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use WhatsApp for business. I will show you how to properly set it up so you can fully utilize its features. If you are new on this channel, welcome. On this channel, I teach you different marketing and sales strategies that work, Facebook and Instagram ads, and how to grow your business using social media platforms. If you want to see more of my content on how to increase your sales and grow your business, tap the subscribe button now and enable notifications so that YouTube will notify you as soon as I drop new videos. And if you like what I'm sharing here, kindly you give this video a thumbs up so that more people will get to see this video and YouTube will get to promote this video to more people. WhatsApp business app allows businesses to safely and securely message customers within the WhatsApp messaging platform. WhatsApp have quickly emerged as the go-to messaging app with over 1.6 billion users all over the world. And what's about WhatsApp for Business is that it's going to help you to easily communicate with your customers. You can actually automate messages to leave to people that give you a chat on WhatsApp. And not just that too, you can be able to love your customers with different tags so you can easily reach out to them and follow up with them. So in this video, I'm going to walk you step by step on how to actually use WhatsApp for Business to communicate with your customers and increase yourself. So let's get right in. First of all, you go to Google Play Store. Then you search for WhatsApp business. So I've already installed it on my phone. All right, but you're going to see install. So click on the install and then install it on your phone. Now, when you install it on your phone, just register it the way you registered your WhatsApp. All right. I also want to point out this. Your WhatsApp, you can actually have your WhatsApp business app and also your normal WhatsApp on the same phone. All right, but you have to use different phone numbers that just is different, right? Now, once you install it, you just open the app, you come over here and click on business tools. Now, under business tools, you go to business profile. Under this place, you put your profile image, then you put your name, like you describe your business. All right, then you choose your business hours. Now, the next thing is for you to put your email. Your company email address and then your website URL then after that you can actually add your Facebook and your Instagram you can actually link it together all right then you describe what your business is all about and then your phone number will be there then after that next thing you are going to do is this you come over to catalog this is where you showcase your products or, or your services depending on what you're selling all right so now under this catalog, you have your, your items. You can actually group them too. So they give you opportunity to group your items. So either you add your different products. Let's say you're selling female clothes, for instance. All right, you can decide to group, you know, put them different in, into different collections. Like put gowns in a different collection and tops in a different collection. Skirts, different collections. Do you understand? Or maybe you're also selling shoes. You can actually put shoes in different collections and then handbags in a different collection so that's what basically collection is all about all right so let me show you how to add how to add an item all right so when you click on add new item you select the product image so let me select any image from your gallery so i'll just select this one now you can actually add another image you can add multiple images then you you put the name you can say italian italian shoes your price put your price then you can give a description that is optional if you want to all right you can click on more fields and then you add the link so if you have maybe you have your website you can actually you know link it to this place all right maybe you have other products to showcase from your website you can put the link here you put the item code for letter reference all right then you now click on save now when you click on save you still go again and add another item. Let me just show you two examples, right? So you add another item, name the item. Now, after saving it, let me now show you how to now add a collection. So let me say you have shoes, you have handbags, you're selling, you have clothes, you know. You can actually add them, group them into different collections. So you will now click on add new collection. They will now ask you to name your collection. You can say Italian shoes, for instance, Italian shoes. Then you click on next. They will not ask you to select the, 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 um, the items you want to add to your collection. So let me select the one of shoes. I'll click on done. Now I've added this. It's now under a collection. I can actually create another collection for gowns. So I'll click on add new collection. I'll say gowns. 
all right you can say uk gowns then i'll click on next it will ask me to select i will now select the one of gown and that is it so if you have different products you want to group them into different collections so that it'll be easier for you to send it to your prospects all right you can now see that there are different collections that's why under this collection italian shoes you see all so if i have like 20 30 50 different collections of shoes it will be under this place another thing i want to let you know is this once you put your products in your catalogs you're going to wait for some time like few hours for facebook to you know to approve it so they need to approve it like now you see is in review is in review so they have to approve it before they can now start showing you to people when they come over to your catalog the greeting messages all right these are automated messages you can actually send to people new customers so people that come to make inquiries on your whatsapp the, the message can actually be sent to them automatically so you click on greeting messages you can turn it on now when you turn it on you will now select this pen icon here and then modify the greeting message depending on your kind of business you, you are into all right now recipients can be to everyone it can be to people that are not in your address book i leave it at everyone all right then you now click on save away message so when somebody sends you a message when you're not online what are the, what the message that will, that will automatically be sent to that person is actually on that away message so you turn it on and then you will now you know describe it describe what like this one say thank you for your message you are unavailable right now but we'll respond as soon as possible you can decide to leave it like this or you can customize it based on the business you are into then you click ok and then you can schedule it i love this whatsapp business because it makes communicating with customers very much easier the same thing as recipients do you want to send it to everyone just select the one you want and then save the away message the next one we are going to click on is quick replies like i love this so much they help you to reply to messages faster so if you know that maybe once a customer finishes buying products from you the customer is going to thank you all right so what i'm going to reply to the person it's not going to keep typing the thank you message every time you can just type it once and for all and then use quick reply to be replying to customers you click on this plus sign here you can add different quick replies so first of all you choose a shortcut so what is the shortcut you want to use for your quick reply all right so you can decide to let just use for instance you can decide to thank, use thanks now for instance maybe whenever somebody sends you thanks maybe after buying from you what are you going to reply to the person you can say something like thanks for your patronage We are happy doing business with you now you not save the quick reply don't worry i'm going to show you how to actually use the quick reply to use the quick reply just use forward slash on your keyboard and then select the quick reply it will come out you now select the one you want the next one is labels i so much love this labels helps you to organize your chats and your customers when you click on labels you see you have new customer you have new order you have pending payments you can even add new labels and one thing i love, I love about label is that they give you different color codes so different colors it appears different so for instance new customers is you know is blue the other new order is yellow and all that just click on new then look at the color code to come out to so just name the label you can just say new prospects and click on ok then you now add them all right add them under the label so that you can just reach out to them once you just go to your label now the final one is short links so this short link basically helps you to advertise your whatsapp business you know on different platforms so you can actually send people these short links on facebook all right on your twitter on your instagram just to advertise your whatsapp business all right so you basically turn on your message all right and then you edit you edit the message like for instance you can just put anything here depending on the kind of business you are into and then you click on ok you can now be able to copy the link and share it to different people now when they click on that link they can be able to contact you on your whatsapp business okay the first thing i wanted to understand is that you can actually share your catalog links to people like if somebody makes an inquiry from you instead of you to just share that short links you know for your whatsapp business as a whole you can just share the catalog links kind of a mini e-commerce store all right you just come over here and click on share it will not ask you to copy your catalog link all right so just click on copy link once you copy this link now you can be able to share it to different people and they will receive all the items on your catalog let me show you an example you can just share it here now and they will see it do you now see you see view catalog 
So once they click on this view catalog, now they will see all my items on, on my catalog. That is basically how to share your catalog link. Thanks for watching this video. So if you like this video, can you give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Then turn on your notification bell so that YouTube will get to notify you each time I drop new videos on this channel. See you next time.